Uh, Saxon, stop dancing. I can't help it. It's like my hips and my hands have a mind of their own. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jay Uso. The real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys, you think Rikishi would give me a dance lesson? Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No! No! Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. Rikishi has held the tag team titles multiple times, an intercontinental champion as well, and he knows when to dance and when to fight. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? And his opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 210 pounds, Kyle O. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Funny games, clearly not on his mind here tonight. He's got one focus in this matchup here, and that's to secure the win at any cost. And Rikishi is an equal opportunity human wrecking ball. Scary agility for a man his size, but even scarier when it's his backside hurling towards his opponent. Really, Saxton? Do we really have to talk about Rikishi's backside? Isn't the dancing bad enough? The guy's a dangerous monster, with or without all the eccentricities. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Oh my God. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win a no DQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Inflicted. Oh, he retaliates. Bam. Oh. Uh oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh, oh and suplex. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Rikishi finds his target with that one. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, my goodness. He's absorbed some damage already. A lot of power behind that one from Rikishi. Now Rikishi has the firm upper hand. You're not going to see Rikishi show any remorse. Leg drop. There he goes, right into the corner. Uh oh And Rikishi with a counter. Setting up for something here. Ooh, that's the shot to the throat. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Baseball bat. I know that'll bruise the hell out of you. Saw that coming. He moved. But can he capitalize? First one missed. Second one didn't. 
Effective. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. The face of Rikishi has seen better days, I'll tell you that. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could... Here's the cover. A kick out to stay alive. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out-of-control feud between these competitors. It's been an interesting story to watch from ringside. Each new chapter has been more dramatic than the last. Rivalries like this are what legends are made of. Things now not going well for Rikishi. Yeah, Rikishi's on the wrong side of every exchange. Rikishi could be moments away from being beaten. Arm ringer, their opponent in a compromising position, but... Ooh, and a shot to the bottom. Scooped up, here it comes. Rikishi, driver. Rikishi got all of it. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, and he just kicked out. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. This deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may occur. You've got to think long term and consider your future fights. And I guarantee you that throwing in the towel is the furthest thing these superstars are thinking about. From the top, diving Are you kidding me? Cover. There's two. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner, Kyle O'Reilly! Rikishi may have to go back to the drawing board after this one. And when you beat someone as large and explosive as Rikishi, you have to celebrate for now because Rikishi isn't going to appreciate anything about this. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by AJ Styles, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! The most dominant club in the world. Marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. They already look mean, now they just need the green. They make short work of their opponents and head right to the pay window.
from Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And her partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Spawned from a family of WWE Hall of Famers, she is the self-proclaimed boat best of all time. Utilizing her style honed inside the dungeon and always maintaining supreme focus inside the ring. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. One of the top competitors in the women's division. And from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She is the personification of success, and right now, She's showing the crowns that she's earned. This is indeed a historic achievement. A woman, two championships. It's absolutely incredible. Target on her back, and on both titles, it's time for the champ champ to go to work. Here comes the heart of Chase U. And representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, yeah. Yeah. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hale wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Time to test how well these superstars work together. It's a good old tag team match. For this one, it'll be Meechin and Natalya. And on the other side of the ring, they are facing off with Charlotte and Thea Hale. This match can very well come down to experience. And I'm not just talking about individual experience. I'm talking about the experience you have with your partner. Knowing how to be on the same page is going to be crucial. Oh, my God. He's got it. In. Oh, what a way to shatter an arm. Ouch. Oh. Impressive reversal there. Watcher set up in the corner. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Double underhook yeah. up and the wing clipper. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Evading off. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Guillotine! Utilizing her power. Hoping to escape, and that'll do it. Oh, what a close line. Lands in the drop zone. And Meechin won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. Yeah, and this is the hostility Thea wanted to bring. Yeah. 
And Meechin reverses it. Spiked with a Michinoku driver. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Now tagging her in. The better part of Valor. Charlotte Flair making clear she has her number. Ooh, the forearm connects. She turns it around on Meechin. Left by the turnbuckles. Gets tagged in. Ducks under. Let's go behind. German suplex turns the tides. Well executed suplex. Book fall away slam. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. With the reversal. She flips it back on her. Oh, caught the clothesline to deny that maneuver. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Michinoku driver! And will this be it? She was close to the end there. She's still as determined as ever. What are we going to see here? Well, of course she could pin her opponent right here. Target is set on Natty. She's in peril. Arm ringer in control. They're going to have to try to fight out of this. Body shots connecting. Oh, man, by the hair. Take down. Via avoids impact. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Oh, lands right on the knees. That can change everything. the skin of her teeth. Damn. Her opponent's all wrapped up in picture-perfect fireman's carry. Catches them with a jawbreaker. Right to the kidneys from behind. Natalia turns the tables. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, natural select. Look at that. And they pick up the win thanks in large part to Charlotte. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see.
Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 380 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, J.D. McDonough and Dominic Mysterio, the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Bigger, better, and more handsome than ever. And their opponents, first representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Over the past few years, Otis has evolved so much. A more confident competitor, a more well-rounded wrestler. That's because Otis now knows he's got what it takes, and it has made him unstoppable. Unleashed in the ring, hard hits and smooth dance moves. Look, I like Otis plenty, but I could do without the dance moves. Oh, just live a little, Corey. Class is in session. Master Gable has arrived. And representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. Thank you! Thank you! The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. It's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. But I have to imagine they're in for a hellacious fight against the Judgment Day. This group knows how to punish you inside the ring and can be a nightmare opponent for even the most seasoned competitors. Yeah, even if you don't like them, you can't deny Judgment Day is stacked when it comes to raw talent. They are a very well-rounded group that has an answer for just about anything you could throw at them. So ruthless. Sent into the corner. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Mm. 
And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. But straight forward. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! And Gable there got a little wrestling 101 of his own. Yeah, and this is the hostility McDonough wanted to bring. Taking head over heels. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Cover. Shoulders are down. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Capped off with a big one. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Getting him into the corner. Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as mud hole stomping. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Right headlock applied. Spinning around. Nice drop toe hold. Brought down with a snap bear. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. He's turning the tables. Boom! A forearm smack. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. Gable has his opponent figured out. And did you hear the impact? To that. Tag made. Tag made. Yeah. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Otis was just a step slow. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Japanese arm drag. Oh my! Vicious right forearm. Dominic gets the better there. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. From the top. No elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Off into the pin. He thinks he has it. And quick getting the arm up. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Oh. Placed in the corner. Good timing with that reversal. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Like a brick wall running into you. Short twelve line hits its mark. to find out. And there was some force on that move. And tag, he did it. Let's go. Solely focused on in a corner. into that corner. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Take down. Put him in the cross face. It cinched in. They're going to free the arm and does just that. <laughs> Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Uh. 
From the middle row, face first, driven down. And misses on the springboard. Finds a counter for Gable. his partner for the tag. If anything, this is the last thing that is going to get the WWE Universe to suits. to the floor. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Careful. Here's the cover for the win. Kicks out. I mean, you got to think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Oh, strong impact. These men have been all gas and no breaks tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. suffer, the Judgment Day grows even more deadly. Who's susing who now? If I went to the Alpha Academy, I'd be asking for a transfer right about now. And here comes one of our favorites. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. The WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. Well, if their previous matches are any indication, then this competitor plans to win this match by nearly crippling their competition. Bingo. Right you are, Saxton. Doing whatever it takes to capture the win and teaching their opponent a little bit about pain in the process. That is good wrestling. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion.
Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yes. Pat McAfee is here. And his opponents. First, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 233 pounds, Pat McAfee. A man who's managed to captivate the WWE Universe both in and out of the ring. I'm so excited to see my best friend compete here tonight. Wait, I thought I was your best friend. No, Corey, you're my best friend. Worst consolation prize ever. I'm so sorry, Corey. The most loyal man in WWE. Here comes Stax. And representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stax Lorenzo. No matter how big a guy might be, Stax will take him on. And if you beat him, you better bury him because he'll keep coming back for revenge. Yeah, Corey, there's no ounce of quit in this kid, and he's got the rewards to prove it. You know something? Stax is always right, even when he's wrong. He's still right. Who's going to argue with him? Only people that want to be fitted for a pair of concrete shoes. Tonight, triple threat rules, no disqualifications. The first fall decides the match. No alliances here. Every superstar for themselves. One on one on one. Oh, oh my gosh! Saw that one coming. The springboard attack fails to land. Bulldog. Vicious right forearm. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Dax gets countered. Look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. He went right into that turnbuckle. He's got the answer for that one. And look at for back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Has him up for the power slam. Counter into an inverted DDT. And that's not what I want to see. Come on, Pat. Fight Pat. And a suplex. Ooh. Snapping the neck. Vicious right forearm. Don Stax fights back. Had that one scouted. Oh, what a forearm. The cover, shoulders down. Big kick out. And frustration might be starting to set in. He switches it back around. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Waist lock applied, but their opponent from the opposition. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, stiff uppercut. And he goes for the pin. He nearly avoids the count. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Look at that. Pat's 
attack. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. Good Punch. measure. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. This won't end well. Crowd is going insane. Pat McAfee looking to try to put this one away. Pat McAfee from all the way across the ring. Up to the top, leaps into a superplex. You gotta be kidding me. As their opponent hooked a couple of jabs. Single mother hook suplex. Nice. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? He's got a slice hammer. Oh, man. This is not going to end well. Beautiful suplex. Daring to goad his opponent a little. I don't know what they're looking for here. Looks like he's ready to knock things out of the park here. Suicide dive! And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Whip back into the ring. He's in a little bit of trouble now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Quick back elbow. Detours that. McAfee putting it on the line. Holy moly, Cobra! Did McAfee end it there? From down below. Ouch. Left an opening and got a kick to the face. What does this competitor have planned for their opponent? From the middle rope! Pat, you're confusing your sports. You're not in Indianapolis anymore. Ooh. Ooh. Time to flip it. Ball switch. Pat is out. That's it. A triple threat. Here is your winner, Christian Page. The WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys.
a group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC! We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew. Yeah, he can do it here. And he easily stops the ref's count. Still in it. Ah, oh, setting them up. A thing of beauty. The glam slam. Oof. Ooh. Oh, axe handle. Luke retaliates. Hoisted up. Oh, targeting the stomach. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with him. Oh, jarring uppercut. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, right into a big boot. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Got the tag. Got the tag. Luke keeps him away. Ah, oh, jeez. Gallo's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. Big forearm. Ooh. Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Boom, what impact! Able to avoid any harm there. STO! I don't know if Gallows can 
withstand much more of this. Gallows has got to start turning the tide somehow. Thrown back in under the ropes. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice clothesline. Oh, Irish curse backbreaker. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Running ladder ball. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Wow. Carl Anderson sees the opportunity. Soaring. All the way to the outside. Just crashing down with high impact. Right to the face. My God. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. And that was an effective attack, guys. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Yes, Ted. their opponent's uh, legs. Uh -oh. That's a free fall. Punishing their opponent. Clubbing blows. Oh, that might have just broken something. Here he comes off the tag. Balor with the kick. Balor on the move. Basement trip kick. Finds the mark. Gets the tag. in with the tag. Super kick! Cover! Is it enough? That will end it. Here are your winners. Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day! This is definitely not the way the OC had hoped tonight would go. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. And here he comes. Double the gold, double the bragging rights. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the Worldwide Wrestling 
Heavyweight Champion, Wade Barrett. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey. Keeping his head on a swivel. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. The Viper is ready. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton! A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike, and when to strike first. Uh -huh. Wade Barrett is about as mean as they come. I hope this guy is prepared for that. Looks like we're about to get some hard-hitting action in this one as Wade Barrett is clearly ready to get things going. Barrett's strikes have been called earth-shattering, even mind-altering. As a bare-knuckle fighter, Barrett learned how to hit hard and hit fast. One bull hammer could be all it takes. We'll just see if Barrett can settle this match with a single blow. And we cannot ignore just how dangerous Randy Orton can be, as calculating and methodical in his attacks as you possibly can be. Probably not gonna win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the billet. Oh, what a great escape! Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Look at that. Uh, Snap suplex. Tossed into the corner. Forearm smash in the corner. Close line to the back of the neck. An elusive Barrett there. Oh, and that surprises Wade. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, right to the throat. Nice snap power slam by the Viper. Is it enough? And he breaks the count quickly. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Ooh We've seen how dangerous the inherent abilities of Randy Orton have been through the years. But what we don't see right away is how Randy Orton has evolved those abilities. He's surpassed anything inherited, and he's brought a whole new level to his attack plan. I bet we see some of that tonight. Uh-oh. And the camel. Camel clutch. Great way to break it. Sight slips out of the way. Big time clothesline. Good grief. 
Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Boom! Came down like a lead balloon. And he goes for the pin. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Way Barrett looks set to end this. He must have had that scouted. This is truly disheartening to watch. These are such talented superstars, unfortunately, resorting to every possible tactic they can think of to destroy each other. When all is said and done, I'm not sure how anyone would truly be able to stand tall coming out of this. right hand. Oh, that'll right rattle the insides of your head. Boom! Oh, perfect kick. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. Oh, man, what a boot. Hoping to end it here. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Orton with a Fez press and now unloading rights on his opponent. Wait. And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Oh, wait a second. I thought for sure he was done. Vicious right forearm. Close fist connects. And Barrett isn't giving him any more breathing room now. Boom! Right forearm. Did Wade just end this? The cover! No, he beats the count. Amazing. An unbelievable showing of tenacity from Orton to manage the kick out. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. We are seeing the will to win from these men. Not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands multiple times. It's been a seesaw battle at times. Big time clothesline. Good grief. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, back elbow. Could be seconds away from seeing Barrett fall. Oh, oh, out of nowhere. It might take it here. And there's the... Ah, he was talking trash. But he got attacked. He's got to pay for it. Three on one. Oh. This is an ugly, ugly scene.
Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Cena kickstarted the ruthless aggression era and has defined WWE ever since. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John Cena! Cena's a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. From his in-ring career to Hollywood to charity work, John Cena has left a tangible impact on people's lives. Now he's about to leave a tangible mark on his opponent, too. Here comes the clown prince of Tony WWE. And his opponent from parts unknown. Weighing in at 245 pounds. Doink the clown. I'll tell you, Doink always has cruel tricks up his sleeve. I happen to think Doink is hilarious. Yeah, because you're cruel too. should stop playing games and skip to the punchline. <laughs> Get it? Good one, Saxton. You should be proud of that. Thanks, Corey. And here's a man who quite simply needs no introduction. Doink the Clown! This man has given children and Saxton nightmares and grown men fits in the ring. Easily one of the more unpredictable, unsettling superstars in the history of sports entertainment. A formidable opponent of both mind and body. Indeed, we'll see what kind of antics Doink gets into tonight. But he's in for the ultimate challenge here in WWE, John Cena. Doesn't matter how much time he spends away or how many movies he makes, Cena never loses a step inside the ring. He is always at the top of his game. I think that's because in Cena's heart, the ring... Cena... What? The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. And that cuts Cena right off. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Oh, what a kick. The key to taking on a superstar of John Cena's stature is to really study him. To devise a bulletproof plan of attack by watching Cena's old matches, you have the chance to learn all of his bad habits and figure out where and how you should strike for maximum impact. Basically turning all of Cena's in-ring experience against him. That's a smart strategy. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, right across the throat. He's taking some good hits. trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Punch right in the head. Oh, no. Oh, stun gun. him off. Nasty one right to the chest. Oh, God. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Now that'll do some serious damage. Launching. Elbow drop. Goes into the pin. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Easy 
kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Oh, he's been waiting for it the whole time. And picks up. Hard fought victory for this superstar tonight. And for, oh. look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Are you kidding me? What's the meaning behind this? We'll find out in due time. But the message was sent crystal clear. The toughest SOB in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas. Weighing in at 252 pounds. The WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ho, ho, ho. Corey, give me a heck yeah. No, you dork. You're why Austin invented the what chance? What, what does that mean? It's exactly what you think it means, you derelict. I got a premonition we're about to see some mud holes stomped and walk dry before our very eyes. A man who just oozes attitude and does whatever he wants. Once in a lifetime competitor, the living legend. And his opponent. From Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. He once held the WWE Championship for 2,803 days. That's seven years, eight months, and one day. The WWE Universe showing their love for the living legend. And that legend will grow even more tonight. There's the bell and ready for action. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That bell might as well have been a can of whoop-ass being cracked open. The Texas Rattlesnake is absolutely unleashed when he steps into the ring, and that's a venom no one has found an antidote for yet. Austin certainly is as unpredictable as he is dangerous. And he has his work cut out for him facing off against the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. Oh, yeah, because no matter the circumstance, Big Bruno carries himself with that champion's mentality, that unparalleled pull. Oh, the, made the million dollar dream look like chunk change. Oh, man. Atomic drop. Ooh. Counters. He's burying elbows in the midsection. to punch his way out. Gets it with the counter. Jarring impact. San Martino and Austin are two superstars who are no stranger to fighting hard. Both have that brawler's mentality. But I would argue that San Martino definitely has the power and strength advantage compared to Austin. Very true, Cole. But San Martino can't rest on his laurels on that end. 
Let us not forget that Austin was once known as the ringmaster. Despite all outward appearances, he has a technical wrestler's mind and the in-ring IQ to prove it. San Martino's got to be smart in this one, or Austin might surprise him. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. He's able to fend off the attack. Look at this, going counter for counter. He is delivering elbow after elbow. And now gets tossed into the ring. The ref still counting, might be a count out. Ooh, oh, he left. There's a cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. This isn't even close to over. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. Austin sizing San Martino up. Watch out, Bruno! Bruno beats him to the punch. Elbow throw, saying not today. And finds a count. Pushed in their opponent up for a Canadian backbreaker submission. It cinched it. Ah, uh, look at this. That's a great escape. Not where you want to be right now. Ah, uh, position it. Top rope heading up there. This is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. What a superplex. The Texas Rattlesnake rallying the people to his side. to the back of the neck. Down with the bulldog. Bruno steers clear of that. Oh, oh, what a nasty knee lift. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. From the top. Look out below. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Hoisted up. Back suplex. This is it. It's over. Stone Cold wins. Here is your winner. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold. The win over Bruno San Martino. You have to imagine this win feels particularly sweet for the rattlesnake. Austin's smart enough to respect the people who paved the way, but I imagine he felt his pride was on the line in this matchup. Credit to Bruno for not backing down and sticking to his guns, but credit also to Austin for hanging right in there with him. If nothing else, both men learned a little something about what the other is about. Perhaps a mutual respect has been formed.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, Man D. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. A woman meant for the highlight reel. She plans on even more excitement tonight. Everyone stand in admiration because here comes one of the most magnificent women and on earth. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Maurice, a multiple time women's champion and a walking inspiration, Saxton. This beautiful woman inspired The Miz to once again become Mr. Money in the Bank and WWE Champion. Is there nothing Maurice cannot do? She's certainly not afraid to help The Miz win a match or two. It's called having a good woman by your side. She is the embodiment of beauty and grace and a tough competitor to boot. Don't let her dazzling good looks distract you. Maurice is a cunning mix of beauty and brains. She's used her wiles plenty of times to get the better of competition, and she has no problem doing that again here tonight. Yeah, Maurice really knows how to control things in the ring, how to utilize a timely... Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Turned that one around. Two fists full of hair. This can't be legal. Uh oh Oh! All measured up. Drop kick to the back. A oh, mounting. And hammer it away. Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. Oh, and Maurice turns the tables. Taking this outside. This could be good. Made her pay for her mistake. Corey, how do you prepare for a match against a superstar like Maurice? It's not easy, Cole. Maurice's experience is tough to overcome. Being adaptable to what Maurice throws at you might be your best bet in this match. Just rake in the face. Oh, rake in the face. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Continues the count, may call it soon. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh my gosh, what impact! And Maurice is looking a bit staggered after that. Hold on, she could be looking for a submission move here. Looking to find the escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh oh, found it. Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. Ah, oh, foot right in the throat. Brutal. That was something that never looks pretty, but is always effective. Stuck in the corner, teeing off a series of brutal kicks. Down! Russian leg sweep. And she goes for the pin. And there's the kick out. Keeping a loss at bay for now. 
She anticipated that one. I don't know what it's going to take to put an end to this rivalry they have. It's going to be something fierce, I bet, Michael. And I'll guarantee it's going to be excruciatingly painful, guys. To the gore buster. And shoulders are down. Two. And a kick out at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. <laughs> kick to the gut. The setup. Up and face first. And that can keep Maurice down. The cover. Three. No. A two count. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Mm -hmm. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, look at just... Oh, raking the face. And she's able to fight Maurice off. Put her in a position now. Down to pony and look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Ooh, face first. Hung out to dry. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Throws her back in from ringside. Yeah. Oh, and he's smashing the face. It's all over but the counting. Guys, look, what, what? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she's here. And she's going for a ride with a massive choke slam. What an impact made. <laughs> 